Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to give you a quick update on how dexamethasone helps COVID patients. If you are new to the channel, I'm Dr. Han. I love to produce review videos on different online courses and health and science information. I also like to share learning tips and tricks for students' academic and personal development. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button down below. So today we are going to look at a quick update on how desamethasone, a steroid drug, helps COVID-19 patients and how it helps save lives. Now without further talking, let's go to the screen. Alright guys, today we are going to have a very very quick update on COVID-19 and how desamethasone has been proven or have been shown to save lives, okay? Now first, this is a disclaimer. Again, this is my uh, opinion summarized from publicly available scientific and health information, okay? This video is not intended to serve as any uh, advice regarding treatment, prevention, diagnosis of any diseases. And again, I receive no monetary compensations from any uh, of those uh, organizations that I mentioned in this presentation. Alright, so before we talk about um, dexamethasone, let's do a little bit recall on the concepts of cytokine release syndrome or CRS. Now if you forgot what this is, there's an earlier video okay, I made, uh, you can go check it out and uh, remind yourself. Now, so in summary, okay, this is a um, situation or syndrome where the immune response overreacted to coronaviruses all right and too much interleukin-6 or il-6 is being produced il-6 is responsible for inducing fevers and other immune responses which is important you need some of those but however too much is bad it can lead to a, a severe systemic inflammations this can be fatal can be fatal and there's another name that is termed for this syndrome it is called cytokine storm okay just too much it's like a storm right so the goal is to reduce inflammations and hopefully in a long-term goal or second uh, is to reduce death okay from the disease okay so this is really to the goal is treatment to decrease fatality and there is a big trial uh, going on that is called recovery okay randomized evaluation of COVID-19 therapy now this trial evalu evaluate multiple drugs and and see how it can help to reduce fatality for patients uh, having the particular disease now one of the stru studied drug in this uh, a trial is uh, the death methasone okay uh, already 2,000 patients have been administered with this drug in comparison to 4,000 patients that didn't have this drug and look at the value now currently this drug is also being studied in children with the disease all right some unpublished data okay these data are being released but it's still undergoing a pre-reviewed process for publications now there are two main results okay first is for patients that are in hospital that are on a ventilator desimethasone has shown to reduce death by 12 percent that is from 40 percent to 28 percent and the second outcome is that those patients in hospital requiring oxygen support desimethasone have shown to uh, reduce death by 5%, that is from 25% to 20%. Alright, so what are these number means? It means one life is being saved uh, per 8 that is on ventilator, and one life is being saved per 20 to 25 being treated uh, with oxygen. So that is a pretty big number uh, in terms of uh, you know helping to reduce fatality. So what are the side effects? Like many drugs, like many steroids, desamethasone have common steroid side effects, including anxiety, sleep disturbance, weight gain, and fluid retention. But remember, these patients are already in hospital, and these side effects are relatively more easy to manage compared to a systemic inflammation. So uh, in terms, this is benefits outweighs the risk. Now here is the big catch. Remember, these are for hospital hospitalized patients, okay? those that are being told to stay home to manage their own symptoms, the uh, desamethasone are not for those patients at this point. 
So why desimethasone is a good choice in this case for the treatment? Now remember back then there is a antibody that can do similar thing, reduce inflammation. But desimethasone is a lot cheaper compared to the antibody drug. We're talking about $6 per day. So that is really, really uh, low cost for the patients. Right, so for like 7 to 10 days treatments, we are talking about $42 to $60, which is significantly cheaper. All right, so a lot of people can't afford this treatment. So what is the take-home message? The take-home message for today's presentation really is that somethasone has shown to reduce death all right, in patients on ventilator and on oxygen treatment in hospital. Remember, in hospital is the key point there. And here are the resources where you can go read about uh, some report and the trial uh, website. Okay, I will put those uh, link down in the description box down below. Okay, so you can go click it and check it out. Hi right, guys, I hope you learned something new from today's video. If that's the case, please give me a thumbs up and a like and put down any comments if you want to discuss more. That really makes a difference on my channel. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.